Hey, happy campers. Todd here, Great American RV Superstores, and today we're going to be talking about our converter system, what it is, what it does for our unit. Let's check it out. So if you remember about our 12 volt systems, it all comes from that battery in the front. We want to make sure that that battery is in great condition. It has no bad cells and it stays charged up all the time. Well, how does it stay charged? Well, it comes from the converter. The converter changes 110 volts into 12 volts or a charging 12 volts. If we're not plugged into shore power, if we're not running a generator, then we have no 110 to feed the battery charger to feed the battery itself, right? Our, uh, and when I say battery charger, I mean our converter. That's basically what it is. It's a charging system and it provides 12 volts to the rest of our unit whenever it is plugged in. We're gonna take a look at this one in particular and talk a little bit more about our 12 volt systems, how we can make sure that our converter is charging and what should we do in the event that it is not. So on this particular one, we can pull this panel off here and we can see this is a breaker panel with our 12 volt fuse panel here. And we don't see a converter in here, right? But there is a breaker for a converter. So number one, if you notice that your system isn't working, our lights are getting dim, so on and so forth, we wanna make sure that our breakers are on here. We also wanna make sure that our breaker is on at our power pole outside. Now, in the case of this particular unit, the converter is going to be behind this. Uh, and I wanna make sure that I tell y'all, unplug that 50 amp service, cut off your generator, whatever, before you even get down to pulling this panel off because that's 240 volts coming in here and that is very dangerous. So we wanna make sure that you know what you're doing and keep you safe through all this. So we have all the power dead here. We've confirmed it with our meter and we're gonna go ahead and pull this box out. All right, so we pulled the box out. This particular converter, on the back of our breaker panel here, we can see we have a 110 plug. This is for our converter. We can see it's just our normal household plug plugged into the back of a 20 amp 110 connection. And back here we have our actual converter. If we move all these wires, we can see it is a WIFCO 55 amp power converter. Now you will have different amperages on your converters depending on how big your unit is and what supply it needs. We can see on this back side here, this is where our positive and negative are. Our red is our positive, our negative is our black or white wire as we see coming out. Those are protection fuses for our converter. In the event that you have the unit plugged in and you actually touch the wires up here at your fuse panel or at the battery, then it will more than likely blow those fuses right there. So you wanna make sure that you have everything unplugged once again and not operational anytime you change your battery out or mess with any of this stuff. So we know where it's located on this particular unit. Some units, the converter may be on a circuit board with uh, like this silver heat sink around it and stuff and it is gonna be located underneath the breaker panel. Those are usually kind of more of a vertical and you'll see a little grill at the bottom and you'll hear a fan running near it. That's a good indicator that the converter is located there. We may notice in fifth wheels, it's gonna be in the pass-through compartment behind the actual wall towards the unit. Uh, several different locations, converters can be hidden and located. So generally you can find it somewhere near around where your breaker panel is going to be. And if you're not sure, you can call the manufacturer with the last eight digits of your VIN number and they can look up your unit and verify exactly where it can be without you having to hunt too hard for it. So we've discovered for this case where it is. We need to find out if it works, right? So we got our handy dandy multimeter right here. We're going to swap it over to DC voltage. That's direct current for our 12 volt system. And we're going to check it out. So we have swapped our meter over to DC voltage here, and we are gonna probe our red and white wires coming in. That is our, from our battery and from our converter. And we can see right now our system is putting out 13.65 volts DC. So that means that our system is charging. So one thing that you can check if you're not getting that 13 and a half volts, you wanna verify, unplug that 
50 amp service or 30 amp service, go put your meter either here on your battery and see what your actual battery voltage is. It might be around 10, 11 volts or so. And then plug that system back in. If you are getting the exact same voltage, chances are that converter system is dead. So you want to go ahead and have that changed out or change out yourself. It's not as complicated as it may look, but if you're not comfortable with electrical, I definitely advise having a professional take care of that for you. To get by, if you are at a campground and your system is dead and you just don't have any other options, go to a hardware store or to an automotive store and pick up a battery charger plug it into your outlet outside, plug it into your power pole right by the camper, and just go put those clamps on the battery at the front of the unit, and that will get you by through your camping trip. That's all this converter system is, is just a battery charger, and it's just conveniently located in a spot where you don't have to clamp and unclamp it from the battery, right? So like I said, in a pinch, go grab a battery charger from any one of the hardware stores or automotive and save your trip. That's all we have for you today. Make sure you click like, subscribe, follow, notify, all those crazy things on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok, wherever you found us here today. And keep watching here at Great American RV Superstores where we bring the how-to to you. Make it, make it.